The Art of Storytelling is Dying. I'm Stephen Griffin, and this is mine. This is the time I almost died. So when I was in my early teens, I probably say maybe 10 years ago now, I went on vacation in the summer with my aunt and my cousins. And she had rented this like little island in Georgian Bay that was like just off the coast, but it was about a five hour drive into nowhere and then a boat trip for about another 45 minutes to this island, which had a single cottage on it. And the island was like basically just like a speck of dirt in like this big, big lake. So we were there and it was great. It was so much fun. My cousins had been there for a couple of days beforehand. So my one cousin who was younger than I was, was really, really excited to show me around the island and like show me all the cool stuff. Uh, and I was kind of thinking like, you know, what could there be this island's like, you know, I could take an hour to walk across the thing, right? Like there's nothing really here. Um, so we kind of kept on putting it off and putting it off. And then eventually as the week drew to a close, he was like, okay, like I have to show you around the island. So we were like, okay, fine. Now the day that we agreed, looked up into the sky and it was kind of cloudy, a little overcast. We were like, yeah, you know, it's fine. He's like, yeah, it'll take like 45 minutes to like walk around the island. No big deal. So I was like, okay. So. When my cousin said, walk around the island, he meant literally walk around the island. So we basically started at the cottage, went right out to the water, and then walked along the perimeter of the island. So basically like straddling rocks the entire time just above the water. So we're going and it's like pretty fun so far, maybe about a half an hour in, I'm with my sister and she slips on a rock and jams her leg in between two like pretty eroded rocks. Um, so we kind of, me and my cousin stop, we come back, we help her pull her leg out and her ankle is like all chewed up. Um, you know, she's in a lot of pain, but my cousin's like, okay, like it's actually faster if we keep going because we've basically made it like more than halfway there or so. So we should just like keep going around the island and then we'll end up back instead of doubling back. So we are like, okay, fine. So we keep going and we're probably about 45 minutes in now and we're still not back. And the one part that my cousin forgot to mention to us was the fact that we would come to a crossroad where we would have either have to scale a, I'd probably say like 20 foot, like rock wall that had a ledge that was about that thin, uh, or we just had to get in the water and swim across to another rock to continue going. So my cousin being an idiot scales the wall, but me and my sister being practical and very unwilling participants in this decide to jump into the water and swim across. Now, this island must have been here since like the prehistoric age, because as we cross over to get to the other rock, uh, it's so eroded and smooth that we have nothing to grab onto. Um, so it takes us a little while to like get out of the water, but we do manage it and we climb back up on the rocks. We keep going, turn the next corner, and we have the exact same situation. Either another taller wall than the one we just previously denied to scale, or a further swim over. Now, as we've been doing this walk, it's been getting darker. The sky has been getting more cloudy. It's been getting a little bit windier. And we're trying to basically rush home because we can kind of feel the rain coming in. So me and my sister get into the water, swim across. My cousin's scaling the wall. We get there and exact same situation. We can't really get out. The rocks are too slippery, too smooth. There's nothing for us to grab onto. Now at this point in time, we're in the water and the waves start to pick up. So we keep on yelling to my cousin, like, come down, come help us, whatever. So as we're down there, the waves are starting to pick up. We're starting to feeling little raindrops and we're starting to get a little stressed out. So my cousin comes down and he crouches down and reaches down to grab us, but we just like can't quite reach. So, and I don't know why he did this, but instead of like getting on his stomach or something to like reach down and grab us, he just jumps in the water with us and then kind of realizes the mistake he made because now the three of us are all stuck here and can't get back up on land. Now, because we're on the edge of the island, we are in the water that is open to the rest of the lake with not really much around us. 
and the wind's picking up and the waves are picking up. And then all of a sudden we start getting all these gnats flying around in our faces. So we're getting bugs in our mouths and hitting us in the face and stuff like that. And it's just like a really uncomfortable kind of stressful experience in general. Um, and we keep on thinking like, okay, well at least like we're at the worst it can be, like let's try to figure something out. And then that's when we see the lightning strike in the distance and we're like, oh, okay, like this is it. You know what I mean? Uh, so after the lightning strikes, it starts to like rain, like really, really rain. And we're getting tossed up against the rocks with these waves and we're trying to figure out what to do because we don't really know how much longer we can tread water and we don't really have the ability to go anywhere or get back up on land because the waves are too rough and there's nothing for us to grab onto. So we see this boat pass with this tiny old man in it just a little ways out. And I turn to my cousin and my sister and be like, oh, like maybe we should wave him down. And then we kind of talk about it. And then by the time we decide to wave him down, he's gone. He's long gone. So we kind of missed our shot there. So what we agreed on was that uh, the next boat that we see, assuming we see another boat before we die, um, we should wave down to get help. Now, luckily enough, the next boat that we see is um, my aunt and uncle's boat that we came in on. And that's coming around. But that boat is like decently sized. And the issue is that the water is so rough and the storm is so bad that they can't stop the engine. Because if they stop the engine close to us, then a wave will pick the boat up and smash us against the rocks and crush us. So uh, it's taken a lot of uh, finagling, I guess. Um, so eventually, we're trying to figure it out and the boat keeps on getting closer, but they keep on telling us not to go because they have to turn the engine on like super last minute once it's close to us so that they don't crash into the rocks. So then eventually I just say, fuck it. And I saw my opportunity, the boat was pretty close and I just kind of ran for, or swam for the, um, the ladder. So I grab onto the ladder, I hear the boat engine rip and I can feel the, I guess the motion of the motor just about this close to my shin. And I kind of pull my legs out and throw myself over into the boat, not really realizing that I was probably about this close to losing my whole leg. Um, but obviously at the time I wasn't too concerned about that. I was just happy to be out of the water. So we landed in the boat. We got my cousin and my sister and we headed on back. We docked, we got in, got some towels, uh, survived and then ended up having like steak and scallops for dinner which was pretty good so i'd say it was probably worth it in the end of it